You guys seem to be enjoying these fantasy draft rebuilding challenges. So in today's video, I will be doing a Legends fantasy draft with my good friend Nick Smith's roster. Now, this might be one of the last ones that I end up doing. Last one being uh, me talking about a rebuilding challenge where I do a fantasy draft. We're going to do Nick Smith all-time teams, helping out the homie. Make sure to go sub to him if you have not already. If I do remember, a link will be in the description to his channel. Now, here we go. You know, obviously, I you know want to choose the Pacers, but I feel like I should kind of mix it up a bit. So we're just going to do a random team. I'm not looking at the screen. Three, two, one, stop. And the Oklahoma City Thunder, we are going to take control of them. And let's see where we end up in the draft. I really hope that we get a top five pick. And I should have picked the Pacers, bro. We would have had the third pick. But instead, we get the 12th pick. Okay, so that's not too bad with the first pick. Oh, man. All right. Okay. All right. So I'm not taking Bill Russell or David Roberts Robinson. Excuse me. I really, really want to take Allen Iverson. Like, I really do. He's on... Not even that bad of a contract. T-Mac is on a two-year deal. You got Carl Malone. I probably won't take Carl Malone just because he is up there in years. I mean, Dr. J is not a bad, you know, selection in the drafts. You know what, man? We're going to go with Allen Iverson to be our star, star player on the team and starting shooting guard. Now, next pick, what are we looking at here? Oh, Jason Kidd, man. That, Stockton, Jerry West. Okay. I think I might have to get Jerry West or Mello. Think about that. We could have Allen Iverson and Mello on the same exact team. Same with Dominique. You know what? I'm going to wait and try to kind of figure out who I'm going to choose instead of boring you guys with me rambling on about who I should choose. I'm just going to skip to when I end up choosing the player. You know what? I'm going to pull a complete 180, and we are going to select Shaquille O'Neal with our second round pick. Now, yes, I realize that I could have taken someone like Melo or uh, who was there? Jerry West. You know, I could have gotten a good point guard, but I realized that if I didn't take a point guard, these guys would still be available. Damian Lillard got taken, though. No, he didn't. Good. All right. But I probably won't end up to end up taking him. Now, shooting guard, we are good. Small forward, there, there's still Chris Mullen. There's still Kawhi, and I really, really, really want to take Kawhi. We do need a power forward, but you know what? I'm going to go ahead and select Kawhi Leonard with my third round pick. Now, let's go on to the fourth round. Fourth round, 19th pick. Let's see. We need a point guard and a power forward. So, the power forward's on the board right now. There is Chris Webber. We could go ahead and take him, or we could get a point guard like Chauncey Billups. I know I said that I wasn't going to take Damian Lillard, but I mean, he's beast in real life, but that contract is just no thanks. I'm not a huge fan of that. Now, Chauncey Billups, I could reunite him with Allen Iverson. You know what? We are going to do that. Reason why I am doing this, we have the A- and the three-point, and then the A perimeter defense, which would will definitely help us out when we are going up against Magic Johnson, Jerry West, John Stockton, some of the best point guards in this my league. With my next pick, I will be selecting Chris Webber to basically just wrap up the whole entire starting five. So as soon as I get to the pick selection screen, here is going to be the starting five. We are going to roll with Chauncey Billups, Allen Iverson, Kawhi Leonard, Chris Webber, and Shaquille O'Neal. A very solid starting five if you do ask me. Now, players that I could get right here could get Lowry. DeAndre would not be a bad selection but Rashid and Chris Webber, that might be too good to pass up, especially when I can get some good solid shooting guards and small forwards later in the draft. So we're going to go ahead and select Rashid. Oh, actually, actually, wait a minute. It's Dennis Rodman, all right? It's Dennis Rodman. I, you know, I would be an idiot if I didn't go and select Dennis Rodman with my sixth pick. Right here, we will be getting a, our backup point guard in Isaiah Thomas. Now, this roster was done, I believe, at the beginning of the season. So, this doesn't have Isaiah Thomas at like an 87 or an 88 or an 89 overall like he is in real life. But, I do like using him in this game and he will prove to be a good backup point guard for this team. Now, I do need a backup shooting guard. I mean, Victor Oladipo's here. That's not awful because, you know, he will end up developing. I do need a backup small forward, though. And, I mean, none of these guys are really, 
you know, jumping out to me, looking too great. So I'm going to go ahead and select Victor Oladipo, a player that I get a lot in my rebuilding videos. Now, I do need a backup center and a backup, uh, what, power forward? No, small forward. All right, so backup small forward and a backup center, and then I will basically just skip to the beginning of the season we could get Tristan Thompson he's on a one-year deal which would be actually very beneficial for me I keep forgetting who, like like what I actually need all right so center if we go ahead and take a look I mean there is Rudy Gobert yo Pendrick Kirkins I could select Pendrick Kirkins in the next round and get a backup small forward because I do need one I totally just like keep forgetting like who I need all right so small forward taking a look here Detlef Schrempf, I mean, he was a beast back in the 90s. He used to play for the Pacers, that's what I'm talking about. 89 standing shot, 3. And the defense, let me check out the defense. Alright, 66, not the best. John Salmons, Bobby Jones, okay. You know what? Now I'm going to go ahead and take Detlef Schrempf to get the 3-point shooting. Or Mike Dunleavy. You know what? Let's go with Mike Dunleavy. He is 5 years younger and he has a higher mid and three points. So let's go ahead and select Mike Dunleavy. Now to wrap up all of my selections, I need... Oh, man, Kristaps got taken, man. And Pendrick got taken. Damn. All right. So you know what? I'll just go... I don't even know who to go with. Let me just look at rebounding real quick. All right. Vergel has an A in rebounding. So Anderson Vergel, welcome to the team. So here is the rotation at the start of the year. I will go over the three players that I did select with the, the three picks that I did not show you. So starting five is looking like this. We got Chauncey Billups, Allen Iverson, shout out to 2K for the same exact pose, Kawhi Leonard, Dennis Rodman, and Shaquille O'Neal. Then off the bench, we got Chris Webber, Isaiah Thomas, Victor Oladipo, Mike Dunleavy, Anderson Varejao, and then I did go ahead and select J.J. Redick, Damari Carroll, and Chris Anderson with the three picks that I did have. So real quick, I'm just going to go across every single team. You can pause it when you want to. I'm not going to, you know, stop on every single team for like 10 seconds. I'm just going to go quickly past it so you can see because I don't want this video to be crazy long. If I see, yo, Steph went to the Jazz with Vince Carter. Okay, that is pretty impressive. LeBron went to the Knicks, MJ to the Lakers, T-Mac goes back to the Magic, Shaq goes to the Nets. There are three Shaquille O'Neal's in this my league. So this should be fun. Hopefully we can win a championship in year one or year two. That is the goal for me at least. No trades will be made and I will be simulating to the trade deadline. Now if we are not in a position where we are doing all that great then I will probably make some trades but if not then you will be seeing the end of season number one. So I'm here at the trade deadline and so far during the season Chauncey Billups is not having that good of a year. In 29 minutes only eight and a half points, six and a half assists with two steals. And really, Isaiah Thomas is kind of outplaying him, and he's our sixth man. So let's see if the Cleveland Cavaliers will accept this trade for Rajon Rondo and Justice Winslow. Obviously, we are getting we are giving up Chauncey Billups and Damari Carroll. And all they want to do is just swap second round picks, and I will happily accept that trade. So now the new starting five basically just insert Rondo into there. And now Winslow is not getting any minutes. Mike Dunleavy is now the ninth man in our rotation. So taking a look at the standings, though, um, oh, or playoff picture. The Celtics are 34-21. and 21. I have no idea who they have on their team. Basically, we are half a game ahead of the Jazz. We are under 500. we We're not doing that well. I made this trade just to basically, you know, improve our chances of making the playoffs and winning the title in year number one, even though I doubt that it'll happen. But you never know, considering the Mavs are the number one seed and they're only seven games above 500. At the end of season number one, LeBron James walks away with the MVP award. Alonzo Mourning wins the Rookie of the Year. Manu Ginobili wins Sixth Man. Charles Barkley wins Defensive Player of the Year. Andre Iguodala wins Most Approved Player. And Rick Carlisle, the coach of the Mavs, they went 51-31, and 31, good enough for first in the Western Conference. And here are the All-NBA teams as there are two LeBrons on the All-NBA first team. I mean, really the only player that I am, am expecting to make any team is Iverson or maybe Shaq. And never mind, nobody from our team made a single award team or got any individual awards. We still did finish under 500 on the season, and we finished with the sixth best record in the Western Conference. Only three games behind the Suns for fifth, and one game ahead of the Grizzlies. There was a three-way tie for the eighth seed, if that really matters. The Mavs go 51 and 31, and the Brooklyn Nets are not a laughing stock anymore as they go 53 and 29. 
So in round number one, we are taking on the Houston Rockets. Let's take a look at who they have on their team. Yo, Carl Malone, Scottie Pippen, Reggie, Dwight, and Tony Parker. All right. We might, in fact, get swept. Like, low-key, we might get swept. We lose by four in game number one, but we do tie it up winning by nine. We win game three, and we win game four. Okay, all right, all right. As long as we can win this game, I'm good, and of course, it doesn't happen. But, hey, as long as there's no game seven, I, and of course, of course there's a game seven. Man, it seems like every single time I go you know, make the playoffs. There's always, like, at least one game seven. I can't get off easy and just sweep every single opponent. Of course not. That can never happen. But, hey, it doesn't matter because we are about, hopefully, to beat this team. Yes, we are. Yes, we are. Yes, we are. Shaq with 28. Iverson with 26. Kawhi with 21. Rondo with 15. And for them, Carl Malone with 22. Wally Zerbiak off the bench with 18. Reggie with 18. Dwight, 7 and 15 with four blocks. And now we are taking on the Golden State Warriors. Now, even though, you know, this isn't the Golden State Warriors team of, you know, regular 2K with the current rosters with the 98 overall Steph, this team is still pretty good. You got Bill Russell, Westbrook, Kevin Love, Bob Dandridge. Uh, Jason Richardson is hurt, though. That is a good thing, and nobody else is hurt for them. Yo, this team is actually, like... Not that great, but then again, they did finish with the two seed in the West. So I should look out as they do win game number one by almost 20 points. Whoa, wow. Okay, we scored 140 points. That is, yo, Rondo with 28. I definitely made the right decision with that trade. Game three, this is huge, and it goes to us. We win by 20, and we are up three games to one, man. I told you this team wasn't all that great. And, of course, we're not on just yet. They beat us by, what is that, 46 points. Westbrook with 41. Man, uh, who is this? Leroy Ellis with 10 boards. Bill Russell with 15 boards and 12 assists. I mean, Rondo had a good game. Basically, it was just Iverson and nobody else. I don't want to play two straight game sevens. I really don't. And, of course, back-to-back -back series, we are in another game seven. Once again, we are on the road in at Golden State, well, not once again. We are on the road in Golden State, but we are on the road for another Game 7, and it's kind of close. Oh, wait, we... Oh, whoa, okay, okay. Oh, man, look at that fourth quarter, man. Look, actually, just look at that second half. I mean, we outscore him by 7 in the third, 6 in the fourth. Kawhi with 27, Chris Webber with 20 and 10. Uh, Bill Russell with 22, 9 and 6, but it definitely was not enough. Westbrook with 18, and we are on to the Western Conference Finals to go up against the Phoenix Suns and their roster. All right, they got prime Dwayne Wade. They got prime Dwight Howard. They got LaMarcus Aldridge, Ron Artest. Hopefully he doesn't run in the crowd and punch a fan. Uh, Damian Lillard. They got Sam Cassell. Okay, I think we could definitely come out of this series with a win. Now, they did upset the Mavericks. Here's who the Mavericks had on their team. They had Will and Dominique, uh, Darren Williams, Kyle Lowry. All right, so... You know what? I feel like we can definitely win this series, back-to-back -back series, that, you know, I feel like we can definitely win. Game number one, we win by one point, but they do tie it up. Winning by seven in game two. We're up 2-1, and we are up three games to one, but this has happened the last two series. So, you know, if this is going to go like the last two series, we're going to go to a game seven, and then we're going to win on the road. Never mind, man. We win in five. We don't stick to the status quo just like High School Musical and those people didn't want to stick to the status quo. Shout out to the people that know that High School Musical is the GOAT. All right, so Shaquille O'Neal, 27-13. Isaiah Thomas off the bench with 19. Kawhi with the double-double. Where's, okay, there's Iverson. Rondo with 11-6. and six. And we're taking on the Philadelphia 76ers. Let's see who they have on their team. Wow. Yo, Larry Bird, John Stockton, Dikembe Mutombo, Zach Randolph, and Steve Francis. Wait, who's their... Who's their shooting guard? Steve Smith and DeMar DeRozan? Okay, we might lose. Because, like, think about this in real life, though. Stockton to Bird and then Stockton to Matumbo. Yo, that pick and roll would be deadly and that defense. All right, so here we go. Ha! <sighs> they went 12 games above 500. I think we have a chance. We win by three points. We're up 2-0. We win by 15 and we're, we don't go up 3-0, but we do go up... Never mind. We don't go up three games to one. Tied 2-2. Two, two. Let's not lose three games in a row. And, of course, we lose three games in a row. But look at this real quick. Look at this. Social media. Where is it at? Joe Noah is out for the year with a torn Achilles tendon. So that does help our chances out in this series. 
We got to win two straight games to go, well, to basically win the NBA Finals. And let's not let them come back in this game. Let's not let them come back. Let's not let them come back, man. All right, so we win by a Allen Iverson with a double-double. Same with Weber and Shaq and Rodman. Kawhi almost had a double-double. Same with Rondo. Very impressive from our team. Larry Bird with 26. Randolph with 23. Where, wait, where is Stockton? Stockton with six points and only two assists. All right, so game seven. This is our third game seven of the whole entire playoffs. Oh, man, I hate playing game sevens. I really do. I really just honestly do not like playing game sevens whatsoever. We are on the road in Philadelphia. Let's see if we can win. It's not looking good. Oh, wait. Yo, did we just... Yo, we just pulled this win, like, out of our ass. Are you kidding me? Like, how did this just happen? Kawhi with 21, Shaq with 19 to 14. Wow. I have no idea how we just did it. We were the sixth seed, 39 and 43. Somehow, we just won the NBA Finals. But if you guys saw, actually, I'm going to put this on slow real quick and just put this to 26 seconds. If you guys saw my Raptors historic rebuilding um, I kind of let them come back accidentally, so this time when I jump in the game, I'm going to make sure they don't come back so we can win it in year number one. Throws will bury them for sure. And the Oklahoma City Thunder are your new NBA champions. What a moment it is right now to see the team who played so well together and join Clark this NBA championship moment. Well, Kevin, it's awesome to be here to witness what happened tonight. And seeing this team come together over the course of the season and on into the playoffs, what a joy. I mean, there is no better champion the league could have asked for. And a pleasure here at 2K Sports to be with you all season long. Good night, everyone. So, I really have no idea how we just pulled this off, but hey, it's 2K, some crazy things happen, and we end up winning the NBA championship in our first season, winning in seven games versus the Philadelphia 76ers. Now, I was taking a look at the box score in game seven, Larry Bird didn't show up. I mean, game one, he showed up, he scored 23, game two, he scored 17, I mean, I guess that's okay. Game three, he scores 31 and they win, game four, they win, and he only scores 15, game five... 26, but he just did not show up whatsoever in game seven, in my opinion. I mean, he tried to get it done with the rebounds and the assists, but seven to 21 from the field and 0 at three from behind the arc, just not good enough whatsoever. We did shoot 49% and 71% from the line. And the finals MVP, as you guys did see, is Kawhi Leonard, the claw, in seven games. And in about 38 minutes, he scored 19 points, nine and a half rebounds, four assists, three steals. Basically two blocks, two and a half turnovers, and shot 50% from the field and about 46% from behind the arc. Here are all of the retired players, if they really matter. I don't think they do. And here is the championship roster, led by Allen Iverson, Shaquille O'Neal, Kawhi Leonard, Chris Webber, Rajon Rondo, Dennis Rodman, Isaiah Thomas, Victor Oladipo, Anderson Varejao, Mike Dunleavy, J.J. Redick, Chris Anderson, or Birdman, Birdman, and Justice Winslow. Make sure to leave a like on the video and subscribe if you guys did enjoy. Let me know down in the comment section which challenge you would like to see next. I think the next one that I will be doing is either the Clippers without Blake, CP3, and DeAndre, or the Spurs without Duncan, Kawhi, LaMarcus, Ginobili, Parker, basically without the whole entire team. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you guys all next time. Peace. Just before the game, the championship ring was distributed to the players by NBA Commissioner Adam Silver. And a proud moment indeed for this team and their fans. Rajon Rondo.
line letter. 